Uh, my dear students, uh, today also we will uh, discuss some more problems based on uh, direction cosines and uh, direction ratio and based on their uh, properties. So, particularly angle based on angle between the uh, two lines. So, here uh, see the this is the sixth problem uh, a simple problem you have to find the direction cosines of the line of the line which is uh, perpendicular to the two lines whose direction cosines are proportional to 1 2 3 and 2 1 6. Okay, that is one line is there you see this is the line I am telling. So, you assume the this line as a, a required line whose DCs are not known assume it as L m n we are going to calculate L m n. It is given uh, this line is uh, perpendicular to the two lines whose direction ratios are uh, proportion uh, direction cosines are proportional to 1 2 3 and 2 1 6. Uh, just observe I will just use a perpendicular condition by assuming the DCs of uh, this required line as L m n. So, here uh, this line is with DCs L m n and uh, this line is with DRs 1 2 3. So, some of you may get confusion uh, how to apply the perpendicularity condition when one line is with DRs another line is with DCs. But here you see once you know DRs you can get, get the DCs easily just like ABC see you, you know that. Uh, suppose the uh, line with uh, DRs ABC that means, uh, L proportional to A, M proportional to B, N proportion M proportional to B, N proportional to C this is the definition. Then I have proved it already this is also is equal to this uh, root of L square plus M square plus N square and the root is going to be 1 I have proved it and but in the denominator is going to be root of uh, sigma A square that is sigma a square means a square plus b square plus e square. So, you will be getting l equal to a by root of sigma a square, m equal to b by root of sigma a square and n equal to c by root of sigma a square like this. See knowing a b c you can get uh, l m n actual direction cosines. So, here uh, the uh, line you see with the d r's 1 2 3 say the d c s of this line or uh, L1, M1, N1 like this say. Then how to get L1, M1, N1? It is just like uh, L, M, N. See 1, 2, 3 are just like A, B, C. You can easily get this L1. See this L1 is going to be A means in this case uh, see just like this is A, B, C like this. So, L1 equal to see A by see this 1 by root of sigma A square. Sigma A square means A square plus B square plus C square. Here 1 square 1 plus 2 square 4 plus 3 square 9. So, you will be getting uh, this as uh, L equal to root 14 1 by root 14. Similarly, you can get M it is uh, 2 by uh, square root of 14 denominator will not change only A B C C B is 2 and uh, I mean M 1 in this case and N 1 is going to be 3 by root 14. So, once you know the DCs of this line so, you can go for perpendicularity condition. Say I will write here this is the line with DC L1, M1, N1, and this is the line with DC LM. See, they are perpendicular, that is the condition. So, you know the perpendicular condition LL1 plus MM1 plus NN1 equal to 0. If you apply that condition, see here L1, M1, and N1 are here, so you will be getting L into this 1 by root 14 that is a uh, L by root 14. Second one M by root 14 I mean 2 M 2 M by square root of 14 and N is 3 plus 3 N by square root of 14 this equal to 0. Just observe here you can uh, multiply throughout by root 14 I will be getting uh, L plus 2 M uh, plus 3 M equal to 0. This is what I am saying here the DRs are uh, L1, M1 that is are 1, 2, 3 here TRs are 1, 2, 3. It is just like uh, L1 proportional to 1, M1 proportional to 2, N1 proportional to 3 like this. See here instead of L1, M1, N1 if you take 1, 2, 3 as per the perpendicularity condition is concerned because the right hand side is 0 you need not convert this 1 2 3 into the actual direction cosines you would have written directly 
this L into 1 plus M into 2 plus N into 3 equal to 0 instead of calculating L1, M1, N1. Okay. That is what I have written here. See this equation I have written uh, L plus 2 M plus 3 N equal to 0 means that is the meaning. Do not get confusion. Uh, one line is the dr is 1, 2, 3, other line is the dc is LMA. Even if you convert this 1, 2, 3 to dc, I have calculated, you will get the same condition. Exactly similar to the second one also, same condition need not convert dr to dc, you can directly write L into 2 plus m into 1 plus n into 6 equal to 0, say I have written. If you are interested, you can calculate L2, m2, n2 here, uh, you, as in the case of uh, that 1, 2, 3. So, once you get these two conditions, you can find the values of L m n uh, that is uh, uh, using a rule called a crash multiplication rule. See here I might have explained this already. See that rule I will explain once again. That is a crash multiplication rule is very important. L plus uh, 2 m plus 3 n equal to 0 and the second one is 2 L plus m plus 6 n equal to 0. Say I, uh, how to find L m n from this using crash multiplication rule. Say I will get you the proportional values of L m n by crash multiplication rule then I can get the actual direction cosines. So, here first you write L divided by you close this better like this then see the coefficients of m and n. So, here m and n coefficients just observe 6 and uh, 2. So, you can multiply like this say 6 into 2 it is 12 minus this minus according to rule. Then you see the coefficient of m here it is 1 and here 3 see this 1 into 3. So, I will be getting 3. So, here you may get uh, confused uh, why do not we take 1 into 3 then uh, minus of uh, 6 into 2 that also you can take it, but you have to maintain the same order. So, here I have taken this uh, first one like this then like this, but this order you have to maintain when calculating the other two. See now I will write middle one you have to write minus m, do not see anything here it is a rule middle one you have to write minus m whether it is plus m or minus m you have to take minus m. Then you have to close this part middle one you close it like this then see the coefficient of uh, L and N see here this is what I told you first I have multiplied like this in the previous case you have to maintain the same order. So, here 6 and here 1 6 minus then like this right to left first left to right that is what I am using if you are using left to right then right to left it is ok, but to maintain the same order. So, now 2 into 3 6 that is over then the last one is n close this maintain the same order right to left 1 into 1 1 minus according to rule for 2 into 2 4 that is what the rule that is crash multiplication rule. See here you will be getting L by 9 here uh, m by 0 minus m does not matter m by 0 only minus 0 or plus 0 same. So, here n by minus 3 in this case instead of keeping 9 and minus 3 if you are interested you can divide by 3 if you divide by 3 because their proportional value is 3 3 sir and here it remains same, but here um, n by minus 1 you can otherwise you can take this once you get L m n proportional to these values you can get L m n I explained just now how this equal to root of see L square plus m square plus n square that is crash multiplication rule divided by root of see 3 square 9 0 square 0 and minus 1 whole square do not write minus 1 minus 1 whole square it is plus 1 only. So, we will be getting uh, L square plus m square plus n square is 1 I have proved in the previous class. So, root 1 is 1 so 1 by root of 10 see this. Uh, that means, L by 3 equal to 1 by root of 10, m by 0 equal to this, n by minus 1 equal to this. So, you can get L, see L equal to 3 by cross multiply 3 by root 10, m equal to definitely 0 into this 0 and n equal to minus 1 by root 10 like this. There are many problems you can calculate L m n like this based on the given condition. See that is what I did here see this uh, L is uh, uh, 
actually you have maintained 9 uh, 0 minus 3 uh, you need not do that you can uh, how I explained like that also you can do it final answer is same you just see this the 3 3 cancels here you just see this. So, minus 1 by root 10 that is what oh, sometimes you may get uh, this type of problems also in the exam. Let us see the seventh problem here find the coordinates of the foot of the perpendicular drawn from the point P say 2 1 3 to the line joining the points A with coordinates 1 4 6 and B with coordinates 4 2 3. Uh, this type of problems very important for the exam this type seventh problem observe that type of problems appeared uh, more times in the exam similar problems they may change the coordinates that is all here right instead of 2 1 3 they may give some other point and here also A and B may be different points for this. You just see you see the figure is important here you draw it you will get an idea. So, P is the point here and A B is the line here. So, you drop a perpendicular from P to A B like this. So, you see this L is the foot of the perpendicular because this P L is the perpendicular L is the foot of the perpendicular. So, you are going to calculate the coordinates of this point find the foot of the perpendicular means you have to find the coordinates of this point L. See for this the theory is this you see this first I will assume all these things uh, P L is drawn perpendicular to A B and see this L let L divides this A B in the ratio k is to 1. So, even the ratio is not known you better assume always k is to 1 ratio instead of m is to n ok. So, this then you are able to write the coordinates of L directly it is section formula you all of you know that formula already uh, once again I will write that on the board I will apply that. You are familiar suppose the point is uh, x 1 y 1 z 1 this b is say x 2 y 2 z 2 these are the two points the line joining these two points is here and say uh, the point is here say I will call it as in this case I have taken it as L I will take L only. Suppose L divides this a b in the ratio k is to 1 then how to write L see the coordinates of L is going to be k x 2 plus x 1 see this x 1 by k plus 1 it is the internal uh, uh, bisection. So, comma this is k y 2 plus y 1 by k plus 1 the last one k z 2 plus z 1 divided by z plus 1 uh, I mean k plus 1 uh, this I have told you already. So, k not equal to minus 1 in this case if it is minus 1 you will get 0 for k not equal to minus 1 you will get uh, uh, all the points on this line uh, a b. So, here uh, you just observe in this case in this case. So, this is uh, just like x 1 y 1 z 1 a x 1 y 1 z 1 and this is x 2 y 2 z 2. So, I am writing the coordinates of L like this see k into 4 4 k plus 1 see here I have written L coordinates see 4 k plus 1 by k plus 1 and next see here 2 see k into 2 plus this 4 that is y 1 see this 2 k plus 1 by k plus 1 and see this is uh, just like k z 2 k z 2. So, that is 3 k plus 6 divided by k plus. this is the way of writing uh, this uh, point uh, uh, which uh, uh, divides uh, that line a b in the ratio k is to 1 use section formula that is all it is a internal uh, division. So, now so how to find the value of k is important I am finding the point L once you know this k point will be known because I written L in terms of already k to find k I uh, will use this condition see P L is perpendicular to A B this is the condition given P L is perpendicular to A B means uh, you know that the uh, condition you can write in terms of uh, L M N or A B C. Suppose the direction ratios of A B the two lines are here this is P L and this is A B suppose the drs of this line a1 b1 c1 and drs of this line a2 b2 c2 say drs direction ratios then the condition says a1 a2 plus b1 b2 plus c1 c2 equal to 0 
that is the condition. Even under L1, uh, uh, direction cosines also same thing. L1, M1, N1, L2, M2, N2, then L1, L2 plus M1, M2 plus N1, N2 equal to 0. See, you have to make use of this one. For that, I will calculate the direction ratios of uh, uh, the line uh, this uh, AB. That has I proved. Suppose x1, y1, z1 is the point A and x2, y2, z2 is another point. Then the direction ratios of this line AB is given by uh, for x2 minus x1, y2 minus y1, z2 minus z1. I mean the direction cosines of this line are proportional to x2 minus x1, y2 minus y1, z2 minus z1. I have proved it actually. So, proportional values means direction ratios only. So, you see I have calculated uh, the uh, direction uh, uh, ratios of P L and A B, A B uh, it is here you see, see this 4 minus 1 3, okay. then 2 minus 4 you see minus 2, then 3 minus 6 minus 3 and similarly direction ratios of P L, P is known and L I have written here just see this, P is here L I have written here once again x 2 minus x 1 case only here, 4 k plus 1 by k plus 1 minus 2 and uh, 2 k plus 4 by k plus 1 minus 1 and see 3 k plus 6 by k plus 1 into I mean minus 3, you see I have written here 4 k plus 1 by k plus 1 minus 2 and uh, uh, 2 k plus 4 by k plus 1 minus 1 you just observe here and uh, 3 k plus 6 by k plus 1 minus 3, see this. These are the direction ratios of P L, just like uh, A 1, B 1, C 1 and A 2, B 2, C 2, you see I have given this condition, this condition is given. Since P L is perpendicular to A B, we have this condition. This condition is nothing but that A 1 A 2 plus B 1 B 2 plus C 1 C 2 equal to 0. That is what I have written in the blackboard. See this, I have taken this as A 1 B 1 C 1 and uh, this as A 2 B 2 C 2, I have applied the condition here. Now, it is only uh, simplification, anybody can do this, do that simplification, you will be getting at the end 4 k minus uh, 18 equal to 0. So, k equal to 18 by 4 and see that is 9 by 2. That means, the ratio is uh, nine, k means 9 by 2, uh, nine, k is to 1 means 9 by 2 is to 1 that becomes 9 is to 2, uh, do not worry about that. But once you know the value of k, the in what ratio L divides this line, you came to know uh, that is 9 is to 2, I mean 9 this side, 2 this side or 9 by 2 is to 1. Now, you substitute the value of k in L that completes the problem. See, k is uh, 9 by 2 substitute here in L and simplified you will get this point, see that. Uh, that is what uh, this problem and it is very important, uh, this type of will appear in the exam. Okay, let us see another problem, you can see the very recent question paper, this type of problems also appeared in the exam, but this is somewhat lengthy problem, but appeared in the examination, so you should not leave it. So, you say this. Uh, show that the lines whose direction cosines are given by the equations uh, 2 L plus m plus 2 n equal to 0 and uh, m n plus n l plus l m equal to 0 are perpendicular. That means, you do not know the direction cosines of the two lines, okay, uh, who they are perpendicular to each other. How to find uh, uh, the direction cosines of those lines, uh, the direction cosines in particularly connected by these two conditions. For that, you just see the procedure. I have taken this equation 2L minus m plus 2n equal to 0, 1, and the second one is 2. See, from the equation 1, you can get the value of m. See, minus m is there, take this side. So, 2L plus 2n equal to m, see this. Then substitute in the equation 2 for m here. Substitute for m, see, I have substituted for m. You simplify it. Simplify it, you will be getting this equation 2L square plus, uh, see, ln terms you have to combine. Uh, that simplification please do it, because you see this here uh, uh, 2 L n here and one more L n here and here another 2 L n here. So, it is a 5 L n, okay? I like that and here 2 into L into L square 2 L square, okay? just like that and here n and 2 n 2 n square here, that is what the simplification do it. Then I will divide by n square here, you can uh, divide by n square or L square it is left to you you can divide by L square also, but I have divided by N square. So, then you see this equation take this form, see L square by N square, L by N whole square, 1 N, N cancels here, N by N square, L by N and here N square cancels. Now, observe this equation, it looks like a quadratic equation A x square plus B x plus C equal to 0 form. So, instead of x we have L by N, 
So, you know how to solve for uh, L by n, it is a quadratic equation, you all familiar uh, as a high school portion, you can solve for uh, that L by n, you I will write that formula once again anyhow. See this quadratic equation A x square plus B x plus C equal to 0, then how to solve for x, uh, you know that formula minus B plus or minus root of B square minus 4 A C divided by 2 a, this is the formula. So, now we have see that uh, L by n whole square into 2 plus uh, 5 times L by n plus 2 equal to 0. So, you compare with this that a is 2 here, this is a and this is b and this is c and this L by n is just like x. So, you can apply this formula here, I will be getting this L by n, L by n equal to minus b that is minus 5 plus or minus root of b square, b square means 25, 5 square minus 4 a c, uh, 4 a c, see 4 a is 2 and even this c is also 2 divided by 2 a, 2 a, 2 into 2, simplify this you will be getting this uh, L by n is equal to see minus 5 plus or minus it is 25 minus 16, it is 9 root 9, it is going to be 3, 25 minus 16 9 root 9 is 3. So, divided by 4, so I will be getting 2 values for L by n, so L by n equal to take first value minus 5 plus 3 by 4, see it is going to be 3 minus 5 minus 2 by 4, so it is minus 1 by 2, this is one value ok and another value is L by n minus 5 minus 3 divided by 4, so minus 8 by 4, so it is going to be a minus 2 like this. So, that is what I have, I have here, you just observe, I have calculated using that only, so here L by n is minus 2. I call that equation as 3 and L by n equal to minus half another equation you just see that that is what you have to calculate it is only high school portion. I call the equ these equations as uh, say 3 and uh, 4 like that. Then what you have to do is see the equation 3, see this equation 3 L by n equal to minus 2 I will just rearrange this because I want L m n proportional values. So, what I will do is it is just uh, sending minus divided by uh, send minus to this side is L cross multiplication L by minus 2 is equal to L, L by minus 2 is equal to sorry n, n means n by 1 that is what I did, it is only simple you just say this ok. If you cross multiply you will get like that, it is only uh, dividing by minus 2 like that, divide by minus 2 I will be getting L by minus 2 and take this n that side or multiply by that n like that. So, I will call this equation as phi, observe this L proportional to minus 2 n proportional 1 that is what <laughs> important for me. So, then from my equation 1, see from equation 1 it is here m equal to 2 L plus 2 n, there what you have to do is you divide by n here, divide by n you will be getting m by n equal to uh, this uh, 2 times L by n plus uh, this n cancels ok, that is what uh, I will write once again here not given those steps, see m equal to 2 L uh, plus 2 n, m equal to 2 L plus 2 n divided by n here, divided by n I will be getting m by n, see 2 times L by n and here uh, uh, this is only 2, see this equation is very important for me, so uh, that is what I have written here, uh, that m by n equal to how much you will get I have written then. Uh, I will use this equation 3 now, what is equation 3? It is L by n equal to minus 2. So, in this case uh, you use that equation this L by n equal to see that case minus 2, this case say minus 2 you will use, then you will be getting m by n, m by n equal to see here 2 times this is another L by n minus 2 plus 2 like this. So, it is minus 4 plus 2, so I will be getting minus 2 see m by n is equal to minus 2. So, once again how I have calculated this uh, the another ratio similar to that 
you divide by minus 2, I will be getting uh, m by minus 2 is equal to n by 1, just cross multiplication. That is what I did here, see this equal to minus 2, see uh, you will be getting oh here it is not uh, L sorry, it is m by minus 2, please uh, correct it. In the previous equation, I have already written uh, that ratio here. See, L by minus 2 equal to n by 1, that is equation 5. Here, I will not get L, it is a uh, printing mistake. So, it is m here. So, I have shown in the board. So, because m by n equal to minus 2, observe. m by n equal to minus 2 means divided by minus 2, m by minus 2 equal to n by 1. Now, observe the equations 5 and 6. Equations 5 and 6. Equation 5 is L by minus 2 equal to n by 1 and this equation m by minus 2 is equal to n by 1. Now, observe this is also n by 1, this is also n by 1 means you can write L by minus 2 is equal to m by minus 2 is equal to n by 1, that is what required like this. Now, you see the direction cosines of uh, one of the line, there are two lines. Now, we are able to get the direction cosines of one of the line. Okay. So, but uh, I want L m n here. So, what you have to do? Go for cross multiplication. I mean uh, that component uh, dividend rule. See root of L square plus M square plus N square is 1. I will directly write divided by root of see minus 2 whole square 4 minus 2 whole square another 4 plus 1 root 9. So, it is going to be 3. Calculate minus 2 whole square 4 minus 2 whole square another 4 4 plus 4 8 plus 1 9 root of 9 is 3. So, now you see you will get L. L equal to minus 2 by 3, m equal to minus 2 by 3, n equal to 1 by 3 like this. Uh, you got the direction cosines of one of the line. There are two lines, you got the direction cosines of one of the line. So, now to find the direction cosines of another line, instead of using this L by n equal to minus 2, use L by n equal to minus half. So, you will be getting uh, the direction cosines of another line uh, that is here uh, from uh, 5 and 6. So, I have given the some numbers already here. So, which is uh, 6 and all. See here 5 is there and uh, uh, one more equation uh, this one L by minus 2 this is ok and you see the next step. See this another equation just similar to this you calculate. So, I do not want to give that simplification. So, you will be getting L equal to minus 2 by 3, M equal to minus 2 by 3, N equal to this is a that is a direction cosines of another line, this is of another line. Okay. So, then once you know the direction cosines of both the lines, you see here I will go for the formula cos inverse of L1, L2 plus M1, M2 plus N1, N2. So, the direction cosines of one line is here minus 2 by 3, minus 2 by 3, 1 by 3. Similar to that, calculate the direction cosines of another line. See, it is going to be L equal to minus 1 by 3, M equal to 2 by 3, N equal to 2 by 3. So, you use this condition and see it is very clear here, it becomes cos inverse of 0. It is 4 by 9, minus 4 by 9 cancels, cos inverse of 0, all of you know it is pi by 2. So, it is very clear uh, the angle between the given two lines is 90 degree, that is what I have written that complete this problem. Some more calculations is here. Uh, if you are fast, you can do it quickly. Otherwise, uh, it may take 5 minutes more, you have to do it correctly. And this type of problems, you just practice. So, the, this is the way of calculating the angle between the two lines. Here, that angle is 90 degree, that is all. It may be some other angle also. Instead of getting 0 here, you may get uh, half here. Suppose, if you get half here, the cos inverse of half is going to be 60 degree. Like that, there are many other problems. You just go through these old examples from many textbooks. Another problem you just see, show that the lines drawn from the origin to the points uh, these three are coplanar. Okay. That means, uh, I will come to that plane after soon after this problem, you have to prove that uh, those lines drawn from uh, the origin to these points are coplanar. You see this, this is the origin in three dimension 0, 0, 0 and uh, these are the three points are here. See, we have to prove uh, the a line sir, that is this line, you can see you can call it as O, O A, O B, O C like that, we have to prove uh, these three lines are coplanar. For that see the procedure how I have proved. So, in this case, uh, I will assume a third line, one more line.
सी हियर वो ये वो भी वो सी लाइक दिस दिस इज वॉट यू हेव टू प्रूव दिस लाइन दिस इज लाइन वन दिस इज लाइन टू दिस इज लाइन थ्री ऑल दी थ्री लाइन आर को प्लेन आर फॉर दैट वॉट आई विल डू इज दिस पॉइंट इज नॉन जीरो 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 एंड दिस पॉइंट इज ऑल्सो नॉन इट इज I see. Uh, one minus one one, one minus one one, and the uh, second point is a uh, two minus three zero, and the third or one more point is there one zero three, like this. Now what to do is we have to prove these lines are coplanar. For that I will introduce one more line. So I assume some like this is a board. This board is a plane. In that uh, board, we have three lines. You see, I will have a line uh, perpendicular to this plane. If you have a line perpendicular to this plane, then it is not only perpendicular to this line; it is perpendicular to all the lines in this board. You see, if I draw a line per perpendicular to this board, it is perpendicular to all the lines in this. So, I will assume the direction cosine of this line as L M N. Assume the direction cosine of this line as L M N. That is perpendicular to line one, line two, line three. That's what the condition. So in that case, see if you assume the direction cosines of this uh, uh, line, which is perpendicular, this plane as L M N, or A B C as you like. Okay, you can assume A B C also. L M N if you assume, then you see direction ratios of this line you can calculate. I told you just now formula x one y one z one, x two y two z two. You can get x two minus x one, y two minus y one z two. They are D R S of this line. See D R S. Of this line are going to be one minus zero one, minus one uh, minus zero same and one minus zero one. These are the direction ratios of this line. Direction cosines of this line L M N that is perpendicular to this line. So one line is having L M N, another line is having D R. Does not matter. You can use the condition of perpendicular. Then I will be getting L minus M plus N equal to zero. Exactly similar to that. Calculate the D R of this line also. Same thing. Two minus zero. Minus three minus zero, it will not change. D R of this line also going to be two minus three zero only. I will be getting the condition two L minus three M plus zero N. You can write zero N. That is zero. Last one also similarly. What are D R of this line? One zero three only because one minus zero, zero minus zero three minus these are D R. Same condition L plus zero M plus three N equal to zero. So here. You calculate the DC is here and substitute here. Otherwise, calculate DC is here, substitute here. Otherwise, eliminate L M N. That's what. How to eliminate L M N means you just take the coefficients of L M N from the first, second, third, and you will get a determinant for him here. It is one minus one, one, and uh, two minus three, zero, and one zero three. See this determinant. If we, if this determinant is going to be zero, it's understood. Uh, these three lines are uh, coplanar. If this determinant is not zero, uh, then the lines are not coplanar. That's what. Uh, it's the same thing. Get the values of L M N here. Substitute here means uh, all the three lines are per perpendicular to the line uh, with D C L M N. See, you know how to simplify this determinant. See, it is one into. See, just observe whether it is zero or not. One into So minus nine, minus nine, mi minus of zero, and minus of minus plus one. I hope you know how to expand the determinant. Minus of minus plus one. Now six minus uh, zero, and the last one plus one into. See here, zero plus three will get one more minus will get zero into two zero minus of minus plus three, and see here it is a uh, minus nine, and here six and plus three nine. You see that nine minus nine zero. That's that. That's enough. You can take it as one of the standard condition in this determinant for uh, if it is become zero, then the lines uh, O A O B O C are coplanar. Uh, I saw this problem also in one of the examination. I think for uh, uh, diploma holders it is more standard one. Oh, that's what I have given here. You just see this. 
uh, actually I have calculated LMN and proper uh, that other way I have done. Uh, here I have shown determinant for m, uh, but here I have calculated the values of LMN from one equation and I have substituted in the other equation. See this, that is what. Let LMN be the DCs of this one, I will be getting three conditions uh, from the first two equations. Okay, use crash multiplication rule. From these two get the values of LMN using crash multiplication rule, I explained just now. Then substitute the proportional values of LMN in the third. So, you will be getting this 0. This is uh, the other way of uh, proving this, this type. And uh, I have given some exercises here, exactly similar to that. Uh, there are uh, some uh, problems in the textbooks. It is uh, from Gray wall. See this uh, problem appeared many times in the examination. Find the foot of the perpendicular from the point A 1 1 on the line joining the points B 1 4 6 and uh, C 5 4 4. It is a solved example in Gray wall, anybody can go through. And uh, this one also find the direction cosines of the line which is perpendicular the two lines whose direction cosines are respectively proportional to this. I have done today similar problem, you just say this. This is another problem, see this. Uh, find the angle between the two lines whose direction cosines are given by the equation this one. Uh, I, I just uh, explained this type of problems. So, you can get L here or m here in terms of L and n substitute here you will be getting second degree equation in L by m or m by n uh, like that. Uh, then you will be getting two conditions uh, somewhat lengthy problem I just now explain. Uh, you have to follow that and the angle need not be 90 degree here you may get uh, 30 degree 60 degree just like that. Like this there are uh, many problems on direction cosines. So, I think I have covered uh, the problems on uh, direction cosines. But here you see this uh, find the ratio in which the line joining the point this and this is divided by this plane. Okay, because plane I have not touched uh, you do not know this is the equation of the plane I will come to this soon after uh, this class. Uh, you just see this type of appeared in the examination, but I did a similar problem, but I have not taken this as the plane in this forum I have taken it as yz plane zx plane like that I have taken. Uh, if you are interested I will just show you this it is very simple case uh, based on section formula. See this is a line joining the two points uh, uh, 2 4 16, one point say P and another point is Q uh, that uh, is going to be 3 5 minus 4. Okay. Uh, now, the problem is a plane, a plane uh, divides, a plane divides this line just like this. Suppose this is a line and the plane is going like this, uh, this is the line P Q. So, a plane divides cuts okay say internally we do not know uh, time being is it is just uh, cuts okay divides otherwise like this this is a plane I will take say this is the plane uh, divides at some point here say it is like this at, at the point r okay then the problem is how to find the coordinates of this point or uh, in what ratio this r divides this line p q. I told you just now when the ratio is not known always assume it as k is to 1. Then it is section formula just now I did one problem based on this it is x 1 y 1 z 1 this is uh, x 2 y 2 z 2 see this ratio. Then you can write the coordinates of r here section formula see uh, k x 2 k x 2 means 3 k plus x 1 that is 1 into 2 by k plus 1. Next k y 2 it is 5 k plus the, this 1 into 4, 4 divided by k plus 1. Next one uh, k z 2 that is minus 4 k plus uh, 1 into 16, see this it is 16 divided by k plus 1. Let us check once again k x 2 plus x 1 by k plus 1 and then uh, k y 2 plus y 1 by k plus 1 k z 2 by uh, plus z 1 by this that you have to check it. Now, I am interested in the value of k here once you get k point is known for that you have to use the condition this point lies in this plane this equation of this plane is given to you you know uh, this equation of this plane is given uh, that is a uh, 2 x minus 3 y 2 x minus 3 y plus z plus 6 equal to 0 that is the equation of this plane. 
So, now this point R lies on this plane means coordinates of this point observe coordinates of the point are here just like x y z or x 1 y 1 z 1 ok. Because R lies on this plane the coordinates of this point must satisfy this equation otherwise this point does not lie on this plane. So, what do you mean by that you substitute for x this value for y this value and for that this value just observe uh, that is what and uh, you will get an equation in k you can solve it uh, that, that tends this problem actually once you get the value of k problem is over uh, you see if you substitute if you are interested I will show you that also see here 2 times 3 k plus 2 because this problem appeared in the examination I will solve it minus 3 times 5 k plus 4 by k plus 1 plus z that is this minus 4 k plus 16 by k plus 1 and do not leave this 6 equal to 0. Now, see this 2 times this quantity that is 3 k plus 2 by k plus 1 minus 3 into this y coordinate 5 k plus 4 by k plus 1 plus z as it is plus 6. Now, you have to simplify this simplify it uh, anybody can do it I will get the value of k for that you multiply by k plus 1 first. So, then 2 into 3 k plus 2 here and minus 3 into 5 k plus 4 and here minus 4 k plus 16 because I have multiplied by k plus 1 and uh, this 6 into k plus 1 you will be getting 6 times k plus 1 because you have to multiply third by k plus 1. Now, see combine k terms see here 6 k and here minus 15 k and another minus 4 k plus 6 k 6 k minus 15 k minus 4 k plus 6 k and constant 2 into 2 4 minus 12 here and here plus 16 and here plus 6 equal to 0. Simplify this it is a uh, see 6 a plus 6 a 12 k minus uh, it is 19 k and see the constant uh, it is a uh, 10 minus 2 it is a 14 we just say that equal to 0 and here it is minus 7 k minus 7 k plus 14 equal to 0 or 7 k equal to 14. So, k equal to oh, I think uh, you just simplify it uh, once you get k value I think it is a to 2 you are getting k equal to you will be getting a uh, uh, 14 by 7 it is going to be 2. Uh, you must be very careful because I do not have the uh, answer here I think it is correct uh, then the ratio will be 2 is to 1. So, that ratio is 2 is to 1 and the point r is here you just see you put the value of k equal to 2 here you can simplify it uh, that is the point I think it is ok uh, so simplified correctly. So, then you see the point r here ratio is known point is here k this is 6 plus 2 by 2 plus 1 3 and see here 10 plus 4 divided by 3 and here minus 8 plus 16 divided by 3 and that is the point r. So, r is going to be see 8 by 3 it is a 14 by 3 and it is minus 8 by 3 like this uh, please check it answers I think it is correct I have not noted the answer. And uh, the last one here see I have given it as an exercise uh, it is a property based on isosceles right angle triangle it is only based on the distance formula ok. Isosceles means two sides are equal right angle means you know Pythagoras theorem you calculate all the three distances suppose this point is A this is B this is C calculate A B B C A C and uh, see that two sides are uh, equal and uh, Pythagoras theorem is satisfied ok. I think it is only based on uh, distance formula uh, anybody can do it 
I think I have uh, given enough uh, uh, problems and the basics uh, regarding uh, the direction cosines, direction ratios, angle between the two lines, when they are perpendicular, what is the condition, when they are parallel, what is the condition uh, and uh, distance formula, section formula, uh, all these things I have given. In the one more class I have, in that class, I will cover up uh, this uh, definition of a plane, equation of a plane, different equations of the plane and uh, conditions uh, for the two planes to be perpendicular, parallel and I will do some problems. I think I am able to complete uh, that one in the coming class. Oh, thank you.